I'm here at the Museum of Seminole County History. It's a small little building across from Flea World. A lot of people may not even know it's here. But right now, there is a huge exhibit, and I've got Kim Nelson, the museum coordinator, with me. Kim, can you tell me a little bit about what we are standing inside right now? Well, this is the senator footprint of the original tree that was um, burned in 2012 in an arson attack. But, you know, out of the ashes, as they say, have come some pretty remarkable things. There were 18 local artists that were given allocations of wood through a contract with Seminole County. So we accumulated all of these pieces here in the exhibit. Um, and they vary widely in style, in theme, but they're all made from Senator Wood. There's some surprising pieces here. Uh, you know, there are some, the bowls and, and some, uh, some other wood pieces. There's also a guitar. An absolutely uh, fine sounding electric guitar. <laughs> One of a kind, they say it's the oldest guitar in the world. There are pens, there's um, boxes, um, there's a mobile made by a blind artist. Uh, there's also the mace that's carried at Seminole State College's graduation, and that's in the exhibit that's also made of Senator Wood. Oh, is that right? Yep. So is that something that they will carry from here on out or so that's a new tradition for them September 30th is its closing date and on September 29th we will have closing ceremonies and a live auction so members of the public can actually come out and Absolutely. and bid on a piece of the senator they can well thanks so much for being with us Kim for orlandosentinel.com I'm Beth Kassab Orlando Sentinel newspaper, check it out, yeah, do us the favor, promise that you will love it later, I promise we got Central Florida flavor, yeah.